So hopefully, fingers crossed, we will get these two, these two great classic 80s films on 4K. Hello, fellow followers, and welcome back to Fan Scene. And today, I have for you a new episode of Coming Soon to Blu ray or 4K. I know it's been a minute since I've done one of these. It has been a bit slow in some of the newer release section of a uh, movie that, you know, we tend to love. <laughs> but I gathered up some here that I thought maybe you guys might be interested in. I know I was interested in, and I wanted to share them with you guys in case you didn't know. So let's start off first with one that's actually already been released, and that was the Doctor Strange uh, TV movie from the 70s, uh, which was released by Shout Factory, just exclusive to their website. Uh, however, the demand was a little too high. The Shout Factory didn't expect this, and this is what they had to say about it. We'll be adding 500 more units of Doctor Strange to the site. After we run out of our run of 1,500 units, we will go into back order status and ship in four to six weeks. Have I become the sorcerer? You should learn whose powers to respect. Come along for a fantastic adventure into the fourth dimension with Doctor Strange. You are a sorcerer, Stephen. You know you are. <laughs> I love those good old cheesy TV superhero movies like that that they did back in the day. I would really like to get the uh, uh, Spider-Man TV show from back then. I would love a, like a Blu-ray or a DVD copy of that. Shout Factory, somebody get on that. That would be really great to go along with that. And all the, you know, the Hulk TV show from the back, uh, past with Bill Bixby and uh, Lou Ferrigno. That'd be awesome. I'd love to have that all together. But there you go. If you missed out on Doctor Strange, uh, they're going to be making 500 more. I'm sure by the time they're making this video and everything, it's, they might already all be gone. And hopefully, you know, they'll get it back out there for all of us. Because I know I've really been wanting to get it myself as well, too. So that's pretty cool. And also, you know, uh, Shout Factory and Scream Factory is having their out of, going out of print sale right now. So I will put a link down in the description below for that. If you guys want to go check out some of the titles that are going out of print. And maybe there's some there you want to get before they are OOP. Up next, let's go through a little bit of Kino Lorber Blu-rays. Uh, coming to us July 12th from Kino Lorber is Martin Cove that you guys may know as Kreese from uh, the Credit Kid movies and Colbert Kai. His 1980s movie, Still Justice, uh, about a Vietnam soldier hired uh, to unleash some justice on some thugs and criminals. Uh, you know, just everything you want will be coming from Kino Lorber on Blu-ray. And it uh, looks to be a good one here. And uh, up next, uh, no release date on this. But this one really caught my eye, and this one I've never seen, and that is Program to Kill, also known as The Retaliator. A movie that, to me, looks a little bit like a cross between Robocop, Terminator, and Predator all in one. And, uh, you know, I had to go look for the trailer for this after I, I read about this, and uh, just check this out. They transposed her thoughts, they changed her emotions, and created the perfect weapon. Together, with their mind and her powers, wherever she goes... We go. They could alter the reign of terrorism around the world. <laughs> Barbie Rambo killing machine. Okay, boys. Bring her in. I've got a problem, Dr. Brock. A creation gone mad is about to be unleashed. And the real terror begins. Now, this machine controls her own destiny, and anyone who dares stand in her way will be destroyed. What the hell is going on? An evil force whose sole function is revenge. Will anyone survive against the creation who is programmed to kill? Looks to be a good, fun, cheesy 80s flick with the chick from Conan uh, the Barbarian. And I'm sorry, I can't remember her name right now. Uh, somebody fill me in on that. I'm sorry, it's, just my, it's slipping my brain at the moment. Uh, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. I, I, I like that. I dig that. So that's going to have a brand new 2K Master, and it will be coming from Kino Lorber on Blu-ray uh, sometime this year. So that looks to be uh, interesting and entertaining all, all together, doesn't it? Uh, I like that. Up next, where are my 90s kids at? Uh, Paramount will be releasing a 25th anniversary still book for the, the the classic Good Burger, uh, Home of the Good Burger, How May I Take Your Order, uh, <laughs> you know, it, this will be coming to us on July 19th, no word yet on if this will be a new scan or uh, have new special features or anything like that, my bet, my guess, I'm not going to say anything, is my guess this will probably be just uh, the Blu-ray they released a while back just in its new 25th anniversary still book, which looks to be like a pretty cool, uh, you know, albeit a little 
not as designed as I thought. Uh, pretty decent looking still book. Uh, so if you're looking for uh, to get the Good Burger and relive some uh, 90s memories, uh, there you go. It's not bad. I might pick that up myself. I'm not. I'm, you know, I'm, I'll think about that. I, I always kind of had a fondness for that <laughs> that weird movie. <laughs> but there you go. There's that. And uh, finally, moving on to some 4Ks. Um, no concrete confirmation on these two I'm going to talk about, but they have been rumored for 4K for quite some time. And we'll start off first with supposedly I'm hearing that around this October we could get uh, the Vampire Classic, The Lost Boys starring Corey Feldman, Corey Haim. Uh, great cast, great soundtrack, uh, great 80s vampire movie all around. This is the one of those quintessential 80s movies, and it's been looking to get a 4K release for quite some time. I know so so many people out there has been wanting this, and uh, you know I, I have no real firm confirmation on this. I've seen it, you know, put on some uh, physical media people's pay, uh, you know, Twitter pages and stuff that are really into this uh, and get information. So uh, fingers crossed that this is real that we will get. Um, the Lost Boys on 4K sometime this October, just in time for Halloween. Uh, I would that'd be really cool. I'm really looking forward to that. I would love to also get Fright Night on 4K, which I'm hearing. You know, I did a video a back. You know, that's possibly coming too. And Tom Holland, the director of that, sort of confirmed it. So that I'm looking forward to getting Fright Night and The Lost Boys on 4K. Some quintessential 80s vampire films that just are just too good to pass up. Just too good to pass up. So fingers crossed on that. Like I said, that we will get that, and we do get. Hopefully, we'll get some confirmation on that soon. And um. This next one, I've, we've been hearing for a very long time. I've heard it from Tom from Midnight's Edge and so many other uh, websites and physical media people in the world of physical media. But, uh, you know, we possibly could be getting uh, Highlander in 4K uh, sometime this fall from a line, from Lionsgate in, one of the, in a Lionsgate still book, possibly exclusive to Best Buy. I'm not sure about on that. Like I said, no concrete evidence on this in any way, shape, or form. I've seen it, uh, uh, you know, touted a couple times in a couple tweets. I'm hoping it's real myself because in the end, there can be only one. I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful for this 4K release of Highlander. It's just such a great movie. It's one of those great cult 80s films, and uh, it's you know it's been talked about for a long time. Studio Canal, uh, I believe, has been working on a 4K. I think it was supposed to be due out sometime last year, maybe if I remember correctly. I can't. Rem I'm not quite sure, but it's supposedly sometime this year on 4K. Uh, I'm hoping that that's real. I hope it comes true because uh, I would really like to get uh, The Lost Boys and Highlander on 4K. And uh, it's just one of those things where it's just like, why haven't these movies been released before? And there's, you know, there's all kind of rights issues and all kinds of things like that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we will get these two, these two great classic 80s films on 4K. So let me know what you guys think about all these titles in the comment section down below. Which ones interest you? Which ones do you guys want to pick up? And if there's any titles that you've heard about that I don't know about, that uh, you have any information on, let me know that as well too in the comments or hit me up on my social media. The links are always in the description. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you uh, also like what you saw, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I would truly appreciate that. I uh, thank you guys for watching. Share the video out for everybody to see. Please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Godspeed.